Welcome back for episode two here from Glitter Antiques. So I wanted to let you see here the sign. They have their large annual tent sale, June 23rd and 24th, 10 to 4. Heavily discounted items, some over 50% off the original price. Beautiful pieces. So if you've watched the last episode, um, I did explain. She said the things that are in the tent, they do not have, uh, that won't be paid. You can't pay for that with credit card. But inside the shop, during that sale, everything inside this store will be, unless there are some of the items that are bigger discounts, it will be 20% off. And you can use the credit card inside the store. Love those rabbit dishes. So pretty. We'll just take a little look here down the down the hallway. I just love how this shop is decorated from one to the next. The way things are grouped together. Look at those beautiful cutting boards. And then more of the piggy cutting boards on that plate rack there. And then the Airedales. Look how sweet. The rye baskets. And they do ship. And even if that is a large cabinet, a large cupboard, um, you would organize, um, you know, arrange for that with those independent shippers, but they do work with them. So if there's something that you see that, so I know people have asked me, what is a hog scraper candle stick and why do they call it that? Well, here's an example of an actual hog scraper and that would have been used to scrape the hide off of the pig, uh, scrape the hair off of the pig's hide um, for harvesting. There's a, a hog scraper candlestick. Lovely. And that's got that nut in the bottom. And what's so fun is when you see them where they're not the perfectly sized because they were cut by hand as before you could buy things like that just at your local hardware store you had to make it yourself there's a holder for a queen bee to be mailed lots of candles old four color Coverlet. Look at those lovely early twine holders there. Maybe from a local hardware store. Just love how things are displayed here. Those green shutters, the early redware pieces, little punch needle heart. Early homestead candles. There's some pantry boxes. nice jugs and the redware the stoneware a 
Look at that green painting on that big cupboard. Beautiful. Look at that early blue wooden bucket, and the red one or orangey color one there next to it. So, so striking. These early red shoes. So fancy. Love these, these rye containers. Large and unique lidded basket. Beautiful. And then some more of the children's toys. Little wooden pieces saved for how many generations? Love those push up candlesticks. The colors just so pretty together. Again, another one of those cupboards with the glass in the doors, which are so beautiful when they're decorated with the flow blue that really sets them off. It's a pretty wallpaper, wallpaper box inside there. Oh, and the little children's desks here. That is lovely. I may have to measure that. Is that a corner cabinet or just the door? No, it must be a cabinet because it has a top. Love that. I don't want to pull that off. Beautiful. And that quilt. Is lovely. All those colors, color combination. Beautiful. Some wire traps, mouse traps, and the little log cabin. And hmm. we'll, we'll just pretend we didn't see him back there. Love that table. Rush Park Seed Company. Love those graphics. Nice. So Bill Romy was explaining to me about how the seed companies, they would ship the seeds, the shaker seeds anyway, to the, to the shops, to the customers. They would then sell them, sell the seed packs out of the boxes. And at the end of the season, they would send the box with what was left in, the, in them, the inventory, they would be counted, the inventory taken, and then the company would be reimbursed based on how many they had sold. And that was that was how um, the items were then shipped again the next season in the in the shaker seed boxes. Sometimes you see them that they have the address still on them from the from the customers from the shaker shop to the to the customer that was selling them cute is that the little horn or maybe a single a single candlestick
perhaps. Huh. It's at the end. And the only thing that's there is that little tiny hole. I wonder if that was just a little single single candlestick maker. Again, another one of those beautiful hanging desks. And this sweet lady here. Of the candle box. The tin candle box decorated. Beautiful. So hopefully you will be here and at Seville Antiques and Bill Romy's shop that's just down the, I say down the road, it's not that far, maybe 20 minutes, 25 minutes from Seville Antiques. So definitely three wonderful places if you're coming from out of town and if you've not been here before, definitely worth the trip. I will make sure that the address for Gleaner Antiques is uh, on the screen and in the description, but the sale is on Friday, June 23rd and Saturday, June 24th. Here at Gleaner there is a tent outside and the deeply discounted items will be there in the tent. If those items are too large, they will be marked for sale right here in the shop. I just love that big round, that beautiful round bowl. It's almost like it's footed. Gorgeous. With the wide lip there. And these beautiful, beautiful early fabrics. I love these pieces of the soft paste. Okay, so this is on the other side of the entrance to the shop. Look at that beautiful, very geometric hooked rug. Love that design. And these beautiful pieces of pottery. That looks like maybe is that the top of a yeah Noah's Ark. Sweet. And look at the decoration in that redware piece. So again, I hope that we will see you here at Gleaner Antiques. Their special sale, the trunk sale, trunk sale, the sale outside, the tent sale is what I'm trying to say, will be on Friday, June 23rd and Saturday, June 24th. Everything inside the store, she said, will be 20% off. There will be some things more off if they're too big to go outside into the tent, they'll be marked here inside the store. So we really hope we see you. It is a fun time. I'll make sure to have a picture as well of the tent that is outside. Look at that piece. That would make an absolutely gorgeous um, island in someone's home. Looks like it has brass, brass knobs. Beautiful. Nice piece. Those little felt creatures are so cute. Maybe a little fox. And a cow, a piece of chalkware, 
that's a bank. And here's the back side of that long counter. I will make sure to have the address for Gleaner Antiques in the description and also on the screen here for you. Oh, she, that little horse is so cute. That box is beautiful with the hearts in the corners. Love that red wingback chair. And this quilt actually looks like those actually look like thistles. Neat. I love all the little little bells here from the sleigh bells. All right. Well, if you can. Comment below. Let us know if you're going to be coming to the sale. Have you been to Gleaner before? What did you find? I hope you will take just a quick moment, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends on your social media pages. It really does help our channel to grow. Heavily discounted items, some over 50% off of the original price. Oh, look. Is that a little goat? Yes, a little billy goat. Oh, and the nice watering can over there, too. Oh, my gosh. I could just go on and on here in this shop. The early pillows. Early fabric. It's a World War I print. All right. Well, take care, everybody. We hope we see you on Friday or Saturday or both. Keep watching, and we will see you in the next one. Keep hunting for these early prims. They are out there. And they are just waiting for you to find them and bring them home. <laughs>